Hi all. So in this video, we're going to see about the regulation of biliary secretion. So just like functions of bile or formation of bile, regulation of biliary secretion is also an important question for the exam. So we'll see how to write it for the exam. So regulation of biliary secretion can be divided into regulation of biliary secretion and regulation of release of bile from the gallbladder. So see here, uh, the first one, there is a regulation of biliary secretion means the amount of bile that is produced by the parenchymal cells of the liver. Okay. And second one is a regulation of release of bile from the gallbladder. So here, first one is regarding the production of bile. Second one is regarding the release of bile. Okay. So the regulation of biliary secretion again can be divided into regulation of the bile dependent fraction and regulation of the bile independent fraction. So don't worry about what these terms are. We will see it in a few seconds. So regulation of bile dependent fraction means it refers to the quantity of bile salts secreted by the liver. See when the liver produces bile, we know it produces bile from bile salts and bile pigments. So initially the liver parenchymal cells will produce the bile but later on it will be modified by the ductile cells by making it more alkaline and watery by adding bicarbonate and water. So the initial part where the liver parenchymal cells produce bile is called the bile dependent fraction and the modification by the duct is called the bile independent fraction. Okay. So what is the most important factor that helps in the regulation of bile dependent fraction? Bile salts and bile pigments or bile acids are the major agents that enhance the synthesis of bile. So see these bile salts, if, more, if there are more bile salts, there will be increased production of bile. And another factor which increases the bile dependent secretion is those substances that enhance the secretion of bile salts. Okay, so they are called cholerotics. So bile salts will enhance the secretion of bile. Cholerotics, which in turn will enhance the uh, secretion of bile salts, will also enhance the bile secretion. So that is about bile dependent fraction. Next, we're going to talk about the bile independent fraction. What is bile independent fraction? It is the amount of fluid containing water and electrolytes. So the second half, where the ductile cells will increase the alkalinity and make it more watery. So what are the factors that regulate the bile independent fraction? So the bile independent fraction is mainly regulated by the hormone which is called secretin. So secretin stimulates the cholangiocytes of the ductules and ducts to secrete a watery bicarbonate rich fluid. The secretin will act on the duct cells and increase the secretion of bicarbonate and water into the duct. Okay. So there are other hormones other than secretin which is involved in regulation of the bile independent fraction and they are glucagon and vasoactive intestinal peptide. They have actions similar to secretin. Now in some books they also mention that the vagovagal reflex that is which is mediated by the vagus nerve also increases the ductal secretion of bile. But not everybody supports this idea. Another hormone which inhibits the action of secretin is somatostatin. So see the bile independent fraction is regulated mainly by secretin. There are other hormones like glucagon and vasoactive intestinal peptide which have similar actions. Somatostatin inhibits it. Okay. So that will complete the, the first part of regulation which is the regulation of biliary secretion. Now we, we can see about the regulation of release of bile. So we know that the liver produces bile continuously and this then moves through the hepatic ducts down into the common bile duct. And excessive uh, bile is then stored inside the gallbladder. So we should see how the filling of gallbladder occurs and how the release or the emptying of this duct occurs. So we will see each one by one. So how does the gallbladder gets filled up? So see initially as I said before the liver continuously produces bile. And this will move down into this common bile duct. But after some time the pressure inside the common bile duct increases. So what happens? Due to the increase in pressure it will start going up the cystic duct and get stored in the gallbladder. So basically the filling of gallbladder occurs by the due to this pressure gradient. Okay. So bile is secreted continuously. There will be accumulation of bile in the common bile duct. There will be increased pressure here which forces the bile into the gallbladder. So what do you think is the pressure here during the time of this filling? It is around 7 centimeters of water. Right. Now our next point is how is it released? What happens when the gallbladder contracts? So once the chyme reaches the duodenum, there will be contraction of this gallbladder. 
and when the when the gallbladder contracts it empties its contents into this common bile duct and the sphincter of rd here gets uh, relaxed so the bile will be uh, secreted into the duodenum so the emptying of gallbladder occurs when the chyme enters the duodenum so the gallbladder contracts sphincter of rd relaxes and the bile enters the duodenum and during this time what do you think is the pressure the pressure in the gallbladder will be around 20 cm of water so now we should see what are the factors that cause contraction of gallbladder and relaxation of sphincter of rd so the substances that cause contraction of gallbladder are called cholagogues remember we had uh, said a, another term before which was cholerotics cholerotics means substances that enhance bile salt production and what is cholagogues substances that cause contraction of gallbladder so contraction of gallbladder is mainly regulated by two factors which are hormonal factors and neural factors the main hormone which is involved in contraction of gallbladder is cholecystokinin and the neural factor is vagus so what does cholecystokinin do it not only produces contraction of gallbladder but also produces relaxation of the sphincter of rd so we will see how uh, what or what the mechanism of this uh, uh, cholecystokinin and vagus is so see here in this diagram you know this is the gallbladder with the cystic duct and the common bile duct and we've got the sphincter of rd here and this in turn is going to be released or uh, the bile is going to be released into the duodenum so when nutrients or the chyme from the stomach reaches the duodenum what happens is these nutrients are going to stimulate the production of cck or cholecystokinin and this cholecystokinin will uh, travel through the bloodstream and it causes uh, contraction of the gallbladder now cck has got one more function the cck will send vagal efferents or it activate the vagal nerve so that the vagal afferents get stimulated uh, stimulates the dorsal vagal complex and from there the vagal efferents will act on the gallbladder and mediates the contraction of gallbladder by, via the neurotransmitter acetylcholine it also causes relaxation of sphincter by nitric oxide and vip vasoactive inhibitory peptide so see this is the mechanism by which cholecystokinin acts it it uh, directly activates the gallbladder not only that it will stimulate the vagal efferents afferents so that the vagal efferents will produce acetylcholine and no and vip which cause the contraction of gallbladder and release of bile clear in this way the hormonal factors that is cholecystokinin and vagus will cause the release of gallbladder by its contraction okay so that will complete our regulation of release of bile in which we talked about the filling as well as the empty so so to summarize when a question like this is asked we can first write about the regulation of biliary secretion and uh, regulation of release of bile from gallbladder in regulation of biliary secretion you can write about the regulation of the bile dependent fraction and maybe draw a diagram and then you can also write about the regulation of bile independent independent fraction okay and then for the regulation of release of bile from the gallbladder in which we talked about cholecystokinin and uh, the effect of vagus you can draw this diagram and also write about the mechanism of action so that will conclude our regulation of biliary secretion and for some additional scoring points you can also mention what is hydrochloritics so there are certain drugs that stimulate the liver to increase the output of bile of low specific gravity in that means the water content of the bile is increased by certain drugs so that the total amount of bile will be increased such drugs are called hydrochloritics and you can also mention about gallstones how gallstones are produced extra so that's all i hope this concept is clear thank you